leave. The reports in front of you will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that this hotel has been losing money consistently for the past six quarters. He's lying. I'm telling you, he, he's lying. Projections that we will continue to lose money. Divert his attention and I'll try. These reports will show that Ned Anderson has mismanaged this corporation. These reports will show... Uh, that, that the financial picture of this company is bleak. Ned Anderson would like to make this a personal matter. But I have nothing to gain from this except a $200,000 finder's fee from the Sheik. Uh, 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 what I mean is, uh, this is not only a good, but a necessary move for us stockholders, as can clearly be seen by these falsified reports I've made. If I, uh, 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 what I mean is, uh, I, I, I mean the, the sale to the sheik will be long complete, and we'll all be happy before Ned can sort out the true records I sabotaged, which will prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that I am honest to God, a liar and a cheat. I I move that we vote on the issue before us. All in favor of selling our hotel, say yay. All opposed, nay.
to work. Tommy, I just want to say goodbye. I wish you didn't have to go. Well, come here and sit down. Why? I, uh, I noticed last night when you were walking back from the stables, you were limping. Oh, it's okay. Just pull the muscle playing basketball. Let me see. Tell me when it starts getting warm. Now! It should tingle a bit. Yes. There. Try it out. How did you do that? It's a little secret. I have the time I could teach you. Basically, in the briefest moment, the healer has to lock spirits with the person he's trying to help. And for that moment, that person is himself. You mean for a moment, you or me? Part of you is a better way of putting it. You see, your favorite color is blue. Your batting average in Little League last year was 368. you more than anything else in this world. But it's time to let him go. It's been a year, and you're still holding back. A whole year, and you haven't cried. But you're proud of that, aren't you? Huh? You're tough. There's nothing in this world that's gonna make you cry, is there? Mom and Dad would want you to cry. Be sorry. Get over it. And then go on with the rest of your life and be happy. It's time to let him go. It's time to let it out. Your parents. Not in time, anyway. Not enough. Why not? Solorianor exists on this planet in very small quantities. It's, it's what they call a trace element. Well, that's impossible. Look, our scanner said it was here. But, Dad, we ran the test backwards and forwards. Our scanner said it exists here, and we just assumed it's in abundance, like at home. Maybe after millions of years of evolution, it will exist here in abundance, but not now. You mean we're trapped here? We can't leave this planet? I don't know. I 
just don't know. I don't know what to do or where to turn. I think I know what you folks are going through tonight. You feel that you're all alone and you must be frightened. So I want you to consider very carefully what I'm going to say. You see, I figure that a home is not just a piece of real estate. It's a place where you're welcome and, and you're needed. <laughs> and you're wanted and loved. Now, bearing this in mind, I, well, Tommy and I, we want you to stay here with us. We really do. We don't know enough to live here right now without attracting attention to ourselves or doing something that might cause you trouble. When you're in trouble, that's when you need true friends. That's us. I don't know what we can say. Say yes, please. Salem and I are already friends, and we could help you get used to Earth. Besides, my grandpa needs you. He said to me before, he wished you didn't have to go. He said you were a lot like my mom and dad. And you are. Well, you sure saved my bacon down there this morning. Tommy's right. We sure could use you around here. We'll do the best we can. But it's not going to be easy. Conrad's not going to give up. You'll just have to find a way to confuse that busybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, if your ship is in shallow water and they're dragging the lake... It's about three meters below. Then they'll find it. And they won't stop looking until they find you. But would they have any way? I think so. If there's no proof of your spaceship, then it will be like all the other hundreds and hundreds of sightings. People forget about it. It'll blow over. But there's nothing we can do about it. Maybe there is. You see, this, uh, this lake was formed by a, a volcano millions and millions of years ago. And about here, it drops off and it's, it's bottomless. And if we could get the ship over the edge into the crater, it'll never be found. Good thing, Adami. Get a big, powerful boat out there at night, maybe we could drag her. We don't need a boat. I think the ship still has enough power to send it along the bottom. I'd say the sooner the better. All right, next problem. Establishing your Earth identities as the Robinson family of Kansas City. Maybe it'd be better with more Earth-like first names. You're right, but how do you go about doing something like that on this planet? Computers. Everything's computers nowadays. Credit cards, driver's licenses, birth certificates. Well, then all we have to do is to get all that information to the right computers. Well, we all have our jobs to do.
two could touch hands, hold your breath, and disappear. But what am I going to do? I could try and plan an idea. On second thought, Dalem, you're always talking to animals. You think you could? I could try. Guys, we need your help. Please stop right there. <laughs> What's wrong with them? We're your friends. But right now, we're in danger. Please help us. We'll return the favor someday. But what I want you to do is to turn around. Now. What is wrong with these animals? What is wrong with them? And race home as fast as you can. Started looking for us. Okay, we gotta hurry. Get your stuff. Make sure you get something for everybody. It'll be the last things we ever see from home. They're coming back. They could have crossed the lake this soon. Do you think they saw us? I don't know. We're gonna have to hurry. something down there. What is that? That is probably some kind of engine starting. You better get your gear on.
cold? Just scared. Me too. Well, it seems like Tommy, we're gonna be okay. But there's other people, Dad. Why do they hate us so? I guess because they're afraid of us. Because we're different. Just because somebody's different doesn't mean they have to hate him. It's stupid. It's been stupid for a long time in a lot of worlds. the place better than anybody. I guess you didn't hear about the way I cleaned the pool. Oh, but I did. But it might be better next time to use the conventional method <laughs> instead of the lifting the water up and sweeping underneath. All right, now what's the matter? Did the man come back and throw the shot put again? No. Then did the little boy come back again? And did he throw the shot put again? No. Then why on earth are you sitting here in the dark? Because the little boy's green monkey ate my light bulb. Thank you. 